Natural Resources Conservation Service, NRCS, which was formerly known as SCS or Soil Conservation Service, developed a method around 1950s to estimate and simulate the amount of rainfall excess. And rainfall excess is rainfall minus all abstractions. The method is called SCS curve number method, SCS CN. But let's write it over here, SCS curve number method. The method is very popular because of its simplicity and also because of its successful applications around the world in different watersheds. Based on SES curve number method, a single rainfall can be separated into three components. Let's go over those components together. So rainfall, can be separated based on this method into three components. Number one would be initial abstraction. Initial abstraction or I sub A. Initial abstraction is basically the amount of water that is stored in the watershed before runoff begins. And the components of initial abstractions are depression storage, initial infiltration, and also interception by vegetation. Number two is rainfall retention. Rainfall retention is the amount of water that is stored in the watershed after rainfall begins. And it's mostly and mainly due to infiltrated, infiltrated water into the soil. And eventually, number three is rainfall excess or surface runoff. Retention is capital F and surface runoff is capital Q. All right. Now, in order to talk about the theory of SES curve number method, we need to understand these three components and also be able to formulate these components. So, what I'm going to do actually, right now I'm going to show you a graph of these components. So if I have time on the x-axis, and if I have a rainfall, and rainfall would be something like this, so this would be my rainfall, I'm going to show it with P. And the unit of this rainfall would be unit of length. Could be in millimeters or centimeters or in inches. Now, I'm going to show you initial abstraction on this. Based on uh, SCS curve number method, the initial amount of rainfall, this hatched area that I'm going over, this would be your initial abstraction. Again, Units of initial abstraction would be unit, units of length. And this point over here signifies the beginning of um, rainfall excess or runoff. So before this point, you don't have any surface runoff or rainfall excess. Now, to show you the uh, infiltration uh, capacity curve or potential infiltration, this would be the curve. Below this curve, this polygon represents capital F or retention. Again, units of length, um, millimeters, centimeters, or inches. And eventually, right over here, we have the rainfall excess or Q units of length. All right, so uh, this is the graphical representation of SES curve number method. Now, we want to develop or derive an equation that gives us uh, rainfall excess or surface runoff. In order to do that, there is a main assumption behind SES curve number method. And that assumption tells you that um, the amount of actual rainfall excess or actual runoff over potential runoff, which is precipitation minus initial abstraction, 
is equal to the amount of actual retention, which is F over here and over here, divided by potential retention. Potel potential retention has different names in different references. Some people call it potential retention. Uh, maximum retention or watershed storage is another name for this variable S that I'm defining over here. So this S, I'm going to define it as uh, potential retention, maximum retention, or watershed storage. All right, so this is the critical assumption behind SCS curve number method. There is one point, though. This assumption has no physical justification. What does that mean? It means that the equation that we are going to derive based on this assumption is purely empirical equation. Now, uh, we are going to find Q, right? So we need to rearrange this equation. But also, we want to eliminate F from this equation. So if I ask you, based on this graph over here, what is the value of F, you would tell me that you can F is equal to precipitation minus initial abstraction minus Q, right? Okay, take this and put it in this equation and write it in terms of Q. The equation will become, basically we are eliminating F, right? So Q be equal to precipitation minus initial abstraction to the power 2 divided by Precipitation minus initial abstraction plus S, which is watershed storage or potential storage. Now, this is SCS curve number equation to calculate rainfall excess, the amount of rainfall excess, right? But there is um, one important point. Uh, this equation is only true if the amount of precipitation is larger than initial abstraction. All right, so if the amount of precipitation is less than initial abstraction, then the amount of excess, excess, run, excess rainfall or runoff is going to be zero. So another condition would be if P is less than I sub A, then Q would be zero. So it makes sense for me to have basically uh, Q like this. Going to get rid of this Q over here. There we go. So this is the theory behind SCS curve number method. In next videos, in next parts of this video, we are going to take a look at details of SCS curve number method and how we can use the data that we have to calculate the amount of uh, rainfall excess or surface runoff.